Hi and welcome to Run Tall with Tim. I'm Tim. Thanks for being here. I always appreciate the time that you and I get to spend together, so thanks for tuning in. And I hope wherever you are that you're happy, healthy, and staying safe. On today's video, I'm going to be taking a real close look at the Soul brand, Insoles. This kind of song makes you belong to something greater, something that makes you want to sing. Now, before I get into it too far, I do want to get a disclosure out of the way. The insoles that we're looking at today were sent to me for the purpose of review by Soul. However, they're not paying me to make the video. They're not telling me what to say, and no one from Soul has an opportunity to preview my thoughts before I share them with you first here on YouTube. Now, these insoles retail for $55, US and if at any point in time during this video you're interested in picking up a pair for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below that will take you right to them on their website. The first thing I want to talk about is sizing and fit. And if you've been on the channel in the past and you've seen any of my running shoe reviews, you know how much I appreciate being able to pull out an insole or having a removable insole in a running shoe so that I can replace it with, with one that's going to give me a more customized fit and feel. And someone who over pronates, that's really important for me because I sometimes need some additional arch support and heel support. But oftentimes when I purchase insoles off the shelf, I have to cut them to fit my shoes because the sizing is usually a range, like men's 9 to 12. And so I typically have to pull out my old insole, trace it onto the new ones, and cut it to make it fit. Now here, sole I think has done a really terrific job because you simply order the size that you need. You don't have to cut them down. So for I needed a men's size 9, so I got a men's size 9, which makes it really easy for me to pull out the old ones or replace it with the new ones. The other thing with these is that it is they are heat moldable, so you can put them in the oven, you can heat them up and get them to form to your feet to give you a more customized fit and feel. Now, or you can wear them, and, and I prefer to do that. I, I like to wear mold mine. It only takes about three days for them to really uh, form to, the, to your feet to give you that customized fit and feel that you're looking for. Now you have lots of options that are available to you to make sure that you can find the right insole for you, for your feet. But there are some commonalities across the board. So there's a couple of features that you're going to find in all of the different insoles. And one of them is you have a nice deep heel pocket here. Now that's really comfortable. Your heel sits nice, nice firmly in place. So you don't have any heel slippage either side to side or up, to, up or down. So it's really comfortable. And the other common feature is you have a solid arch support here. Now when I say solid, I'm going to say solid but yet flexible and comfortable because I have used some insoles in the past that while they have a solid uh, art support, they're, they're not comfortable at all. These are really hard plastic. I did use these for some time, but I stopped using them because they're not comfortable. You know, and I have flat feet and unfortunately my arches would get quite sore in a really rigid insole like this. So while they do a good job of helping my feet to stay within a healthy level of pronation, they're not comfortable. So what good are they if I'm not going to wear them because you know, they just don't feel very good on foot and my feet get sore and tired. Here you have a nice art support that is a bit springy. So while my feet didn't get sore, they were comfortable, but it was enough of an arch support to give me relief from any kind of uh, shin pain that I might be having or ankle pain, uh, anything along those lines. And it just kept me into a really nice, comfortable fit and feel. Now, one of the options that you have is to be able to choose just how much cushioning that you're looking for. Now, I have the performance thin version of these insoles, and I, I installed them into my dress shoes because the insoles that were in my dress shoes are garbage. There's absolutely no arch support at all, so it makes it really difficult to wear them for any real length of time because my, my arches get really sore, my ankles get sore, and I can even have some shin spent pain because there's just no support there at all. So these breathe new life into those shoes, but you could also wear them in a performance uh, running shoe. But shoes that would typically have low volume where you're not necessarily needing to add any cushion 
to the run experience. Uh, but you need to add a little bit of support. So they're perfect for those low volume shoes that really don't have a lot of extra space in a, across the midfoot or in the toe box. So these work well for that. And then you can choose medium, which adds a little bit of uh, cushion to your experience, whether it's a run experience or in my case, I install them into my hiking boots. Because again, the insoles that came standard with them, I have no arch support at all and really no support in the heel. So my heel is constantly kind of slipping up and down and side to side when I was out trying to hike. So these uh, corrected that problem and I'm really appreciative of that. So, and, and because they're a medium thickness, they did add a little bit of cushion uh, to my hiking experience as well. But you can also install them into a pair of running shoes if you like, or you can choose thick, which would give you the maximum amount of cushion uh, that they have to offer. So if you have a shoe where you need that little extra cushion, but you have the space, so you have the volume to be able to fit those into, uh, these work perfect for that. And not only can you choose the amount of cushioning that you're looking for, that's going to be right for you by choosing either the thin, medium, or thick. You also have the option of getting them with a met pad or a metatarsal pad. Now this is just a little added extra uh, support right at the metatarsal head of your foot. So it really helps out and you notice it most when you're when you're running, for example, and you're splaying your toes, you get that little extra support. If this were your foot, it'd be right about here. Now you also have the option of choosing the material that the cushioning is made from. Now in this case, this is their performance thin version of their insoles that we looked at just a few minutes ago. These are the ones that I installed into my dress shoes, but they also work well in other low volume running shoes. And the one that comes to my mind that I routinely replace the insoles out of is the Hoka Rencon. Now, those are the ones that I, I absolutely love those shoes, but I hate the insoles that come in them. They're paper thin and they provide zero support at all. So these work great for that. But as we flip them over, we see that the uh, cushion material is made from recycled wine corks. How cool is that? Now, I always appreciate it when companies recycle material. It's just good for the environment. It's good for everybody. Now, when we take a look at the uh, met pad version here, now, now this is their medium thickness. And as we flip it over, you're going to see that here you have the option of going with a more traditional EVA cushion material. So it really just depends on what your preference is. And the EVA material is ultra durable. So it's great for shoes that you're going to be putting a lot of work into. So running shoes, for example, where it's a lot of high intensity work. Or if you want to be able to swap these from shoe to shoe, I think the EVA is probably going to be your best choice. Overall, I think sole is a great option for insoles, especially if you're someone like myself who overpronates and you need that additional arch support and heel support to help keep your feet in line to prevent injury and to reduce any kind of pain. Now for me, that's oftentimes shin splint pain and ankle pain, and these do a great job with being supportive with not being too rigid where they make them uncomfortable to wear. And at the price tag of $55, it's far less expensive than customized orthotics that can cost hundreds of dollars. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Run I Tall with song, You hum along, and we have fun, fun, fun when we're moving to the beat. This kind of song makes you belong to something greater, something that makes you want.